already did like talk a little bit about the differences between sciences and arts um, in Rebecca's video that you guys should definitely go and watch. Definitely. <laughs> it's going to be down there. Yeah. So <laughs> this week we're going to start with just the question, if we could go back to last September before we came here, what would we tell ourselves? Well, I would have probably told myself to relax because <laughs> yeah. I was definitely so freaked out last September about coming to like a new place and not really knowing like what to bring yeah that's another thing i'd have told myself half the junk i was trying to put in my suitcases <laughs> to just leave it like think logically am i really gonna need this because i have so much stuff now that i'm just like i don't yeah. need i definitely agree with that i bought like so many clothes and you only end up wearing like the same like, yes. I know, like, five <laughs> sets of outfits anyway yeah and i didn't actually bring many decorations for my room I don't know about you, but because I thought, oh, we're only here for like eight weeks at a time. I don't need to decorate my room, but it's just nice having a few like nice homely things. Yeah, so I think I'd probably say like around the same thing. Uh, just generally, just worry less about things and yeah. <laughs> uh, try not to get too stressed. I mean, I know for a few of the first like lab reports we had to do, I spent so so long on them, and in the end. Like, um, basically our reports get marked out of 10, and the difference between getting, I don't know, an 8 and a 10, like the amount of hours you have to do to like get your report like slightly better is not worth the effort, really. Um, yeah, so I think it's just like having a good balance between everything. Yeah. And in terms of work, I'd have gone back and told myself to stop trying to read absolutely everything on the reading list. Yeah. You know, every week we get like a long reading list, and I'm always like, I feel guilty if I don't like yeah. at least glance at everything, but that's definitely not the way to do it. I think I'd have told myself as well to like to not worry about like making friends and stuff. Absolutely. I think yeah. in freshers week I was trying to like like absolutely talk to everyone and make sure like and you're like you should know everyone, but you shouldn't be like trying too hard to fit in with everyone. Yeah. I feel like in freshers week you definitely reach the point where you like you find the people who you're really comfortable with yeah and it just works i agree yeah during freshers week you're talking to everyone and you, you're like oh we're gonna be such good friends for the next yeah. four years and then it's just like you never talk to them ever again those people. <laughs> <laughs> definitely yeah i think don't worry about that sort of thing because you will find where you fit in um and you will find friends yeah exactly so yeah it's not not something to worry yeah. about. Yeah, I mean it's not like secondary school where there's cliques or whatever. It's yeah. so so different, like, so, so much less cliquey. Okay, so now we're gonna talk a little bit about differences between Oriel and Trinity College. Yeah. So um, and uh, food wise, our f uh, okay Trinity is quite unusual in the sense that we have formal hall every weekday evening and there's no other option. That's, okay. that's really, I think that's probably unique to us. <clears throat> um, so formal hall is where you have to wear your gown and it's like a sit down, three course served meal. Well yeah, definitely from what I've heard from people from other colleges, Oriel seems to serve like some of the most food because we have formal hall every day except Saturday yeah. and informal hall every day except Saturday. That's good. That's so really you have good. the choice. Lots of options. So I think another major difference about our colleges is that Trinity is, well, we're both quite small colleges aren't we? Yeah in terms of like number numbers. of people. Yeah but my college is very spaced out I mean there's lots of lawns and gardens <laughs> and it's great. And Oral is like teeny tiny very compact. Yeah. Not quite teeny tiny but just like everything's yeah. quite close together. Yeah so I suppose that's quite good because you like bump into people all the time. Yeah and it, it feels kind of small and homely. Homely yeah when obviously like Trinity is like it's the good thing about it is that it's really quiet during the day like everywhere so that's really yeah. good if you want to get work done but i think something to point out for people who don't probably don't know how the colleges work like most of them offer like the standard subjects so like maths and english history yeah. and like most of the sciences so it's only for small like slightly smaller courses like niche. art like art yeah. as, which are kind of a bit more niche that they're only available at some specific colleges. Mm -hmm. And is there anything that was like wildly specific to Trinity? Um, or any like weird traditions? Oh. I'm just thinking of Oral has this thing where um, I Want You Back by the Jackson Five. That's like our song. 
So if it plays anywhere, you're supposed to scream it at the top of your lungs. And you're supposed to take off your shirt as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <clears throat> Which is why if you go to Park End, they will never play <laughs> I Want You Back. That's so funny. <laughs> I don't think we have a college song. Actually, there's this one... Okay, maybe it's just a choir thing, but... um. I know uh, a, a guy in our choir did this remix of the <coughs> hymn "Shine, Jesus, Shine," but like a like a like a dubstep <laughs> song. <sorry. laughs> and we always like, yeah, we always like request to have it on bops and stuff. So bops are like parties, um, fancy dress parties that are held within college. Yeah. Do you have college pets? No, we don't have any. No, we have a college cat called Artemis. Yeah. I'm assuming there used to be a cat somewhere because there's like this little cat flap in oh, one of okay. the buildings yeah. that people say cost like 10 grand to build it into the building. Wow. <laughs> and there's no cats. Say, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, as to my knowledge there's no cats, just some rather rabid squirrels in second yes, pod. lots of lots of squirrels right yeah. there as well. And I feel like Trinity is one of the colleges that like tourists are always at. There are so many tourists all the time and I open the curtain and I just see them like taking pictures. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's to be honest, like, you just get used to it and you don't really notice it after a while. Because obviously, as I said earlier, it's so open. Like, it's not like there's loads crammed in. Um, yeah, I yeah. guess that's why um, with Oral we're not always open to tourists. And usually they can only go in first quad if we are open. Yeah. So, like, they won't be strolling past my room. Yeah. And I guess that's good because we're so small that if we just yeah. allowed everyone to come in, it would just, it would be too much. Thanks for watching the video this week, guys. Thanks to Rebecca for being here. Yeah, it's been so much fun. We should definitely get lots of collabs with everyone. Every week now, you'll just yeah, definitely. <laughs> see both so of fun. us here. <laughs> see ya. Bye, guys.